Well, it should be an interesting day. I've never been to the Lawford River Run. Uh, there's supposed to be thousands of motorcyclists there. Uh, my wife was down there yesterday and I took a picture of a parking lot. It was just a sea of motorcycles. So, it should be pretty interesting. The 163 cut off to Laughlin, you hit one of the only gas stations for miles. And with motorcycles everywhere, I struck up a conversation with Tony, a biker from Las Vegas waiting for some friends to arrive. Waiting for the whole posse, all from Las Vegas, all Filipinos. Apparently there are a lot of them coming. About 20, 21. All of a sudden, Tony took off. One of his buddy's bikes had fallen over and everyone rushed to help. Luckily, nothing seemed to be broken. Ask Tony what drew him to the river run year after year. Everything you can imagine as far as a little city, little town with everyone dressed up the same, look alike, talk about the same thing and enjoy the same thing all over. Now I'm back on the road cruising along with more bikers on the final stretch into Laughlin. It's pretty obvious as you turn onto the main drag that the town has been taken over by bikers. By design, of course. A lot of Harleys here. The first thing on my agenda was to get something to eat. Where else would you go but the biker fuel stop? Hamburger, anyone? I found a place to sit and met some enthusiastic visitors. We're here enjoying the River Run 2010. One even came down from Kodiak, Alaska. Ah, uh, trying to get some sunshine. We don't have that in Kodiak. Well, there's certainly no shortage of music. Local acts entertain you during the day, and national acts like Cheap Trick are featured at night. These amazing machines are entries in the custom bike competition. My name is Scott. I'm from uh, Chula Vista, California. I decided to enter it in the show just, just to see how it does. A lot, of, a lot of bikes here, a lot of beautiful bikes here. My name is uh, Bob LaRock, I'm from Laughlin. Yeah, the whole bike has been done over, customized. It's been all etched. The motor's been redone by s and It's won, uh, won three times, came in second once. Yes, it's a baby stroller. Even among these wild rides, this fantastic stroller was a standout. I was bored and I figured it's better than a regular stroller. <laughs> I made it from scratch. Julianne is one lucky little girl. What a great dad. Of course, if you have a bike, you have to buy stuff for it. There were dozens of vendors selling everything from helmets and windshields to custom patches and all sorts of apparel. Along the way, I also met a lot of very talented artisans. Well, I'm Stroke the Pinstriper. I have a shop in the city of Glendora. Hey, I can make your dreams come true. Whatever you want, I can do. You got the flames, 60 style, goes right into the fat stripes. Everything from bikes, Harleys, cars, lowriders, customs. Like I said, I can make your dreams come true, man. That's about it. <laughs> if you happen to be looking for a custom monogram patch, you were in luck. Mike and Vicky Kennel brought their monogramming machine with them. Pick out what you like and Mike will stitch it up right on the spot. They also had all sorts of stock patches to choose from. Mike said that Custom in memory of patches are very popular. It's a very personal way for his clients to commemorate their lost loved ones. Do you want a bag for that or is that good? I'll do it. Alright. Well, moving on, I found the perfect accessory for bikers that like to golf. Well, what we've got is we've got uh, a golf carrying system that works on all Harley-Davidson motorcycles so that you guys can just in seconds put their bag on there 
seconds take it off and the motorcycle stays just like it was when they first bought it. It just looks like there was never anything on there. This, this is our first season and it's just been well received. People have just been going crazy over it. They just want to take their motorcycles and go play golf. Well, I can see now why the River Run lasts five days. I mean, with custom bike shows, shopping, beauty contests, food, concerts, and more, the five hours I spent here barely scratched the surface. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. It was time to head home. Hey, we are bugging out of town. Uh-oh, better watch my speed.